Hey everyone, welcome back to Phantom Liberty. We are on a little bit of a whistle-stop tour around NC, uh, back into the actual city proper, because uh, we've pretty much exhausted everything from Phantom Liberty and the recent patches, except for a few little secret things slipped in here and there that uh, we've not covered off in the Hidden Gems mods. So, first of all, I'm heading down uh, back to... Uh, back to downtown. I'm just trying to retrace my steps because I always screw up the location of this one. Um, I think I might have already passed where I'm supposed to go. Ah, crap, I think I have. Okay, let's do uh, an about face. Yeah, I'm uh, cruising through town in my uh, my little city run around the uh, Thornton <laughs> Merrimack Warlock. Uh, nimble little... Uh, do you have a death wish, sir? Wait, are you Bargast? Uh... Hello? Are you lost? Um... Wait, are you... Guard? Okay. I'm not sure if he is actually Bargus. I think he just happens to be... No, that's definitely Bargus Garb. Okay, I'm gonna get back in the car before I pee him off. Yeah, um, thought I'd uh, cruise around in the, um, uh, the nimble little city run around that is the, uh, the Warlock. Uh, with my own little personal, uh, customization tweaks, uh, as you've probably noticed. Uh, link to the mod is down in the description. Yeah, uh, I'm looking for... I'm not even paying attention to where I'm going now. Um, I'm looking for the lane... Ah, oh, crap, where did I leave that lane? I've lost it again. I'm looking for the lane that I ended up in uh, a short while back, when I was retracing my steps to Songbird's Villefort Columbus van. I couldn't find it that time, and I can't bloody find it now either. Um, right, I'm gonna have to do uh, gonna have to do a little bit of cruising around to find this thing again. I think. Ah, there it is. Yeah, only only drove past it twice on the way here. Uh, apparently. There is something else to find here. So this is where the van was parked. This is where I picked up a shard from Songbird uh, and then got sort of chased out of the place because I think some tiger claws turned up. But apparently this... Hello. Yeah, apparently there is a shard around here as well. I just saw its icon flash up then, but I, can, I don't know where it was. There it is. Filthy. Right. What did I actually miss? Operation Final Flight. Observation report. What's it? Is this going to be like a drone? Oh no, this is N54. Minute, right, minutes 9 through to 3.18. N54 news broadcast vehicle arrives. Sound of gunfire from around the corner. Trauma team AV arrives. Trauma team AV departs. Observation interrupted. Dump truck arrives. Observation renewed. Villefort Columbus parked in the alleyway. <gasps> that was Songbird's van. She was being, she was under observation. But from who? No driver. Autopilot? A woman approaches the vehicle. The woman opens the rear passenger hold doors and climbs inside. Door closes. HQ informed. FIA en route. ETA 10 minutes. <gasps> Filth. Myers and the NUSA. That's who was watching. I suppose it makes sense. Ah, oh, crap. Um, okay. Well, I mean, we know how that panned out, but that kind of, uh, that kind of clues us in as to how they got to uh, got to the spaceport so fast and started causing trouble. Okay, I've got a number of these little hidden extras that I want to find around Night City before we pull V out of the area for good. But, um, hmm, that's a rather nice little vehicle you have there. What is that, Type 66? It is. Hmm. Yeah, I'll let you keep it. I'm feeling generous today. Okay, on to the next. Headed back into Watson now, uh, because I've uh, I've got a shopping list of things to be getting on with, and I've been told that I should pop back to a familiar location to see a, a friendly old face. So I'm going to head back down into Vic's clinic. It's been a uh, a wee while since I've been here. Thank you very, very much to Samaji, by the way, over on the Discord, who's dropped uh, pretty much every one of these little extra points down, uh, down in the Discord conversation. Uh, let's have a... Ooh. Wait, now we've been over some of these options before, haven't we? We've... <laughs> that sounds like a gunshot. Okay. Sure, it's perfectly fine. Uh, we've already discussed Jackie's body. I don't think we've asked him if Militech could help with the biochip. I think we probably already know the answer to that. Some biochip. I think Militech could help with it. 
that within the realm of possibilities? Why Militech of all things? Hmm. Someone recently spelled about some classified tech they have. Kind of could, you know, cure me. Oh. The kind of neural matrix that harnesses AIs from uh, out past the black wall. Hmm. Someone actually did tame one. It'd be promising. Albeit suspiciously so. Hmm. Interesting. So this is obviously off the back of the Sinoshore Matrix, the, the mainframe that Songbird was working on up in the Black Sapphire. They've obviously got the technology to control AIs. Interesting. Uh, suspicious Havoc. Suspicious how? Read the screen sheets. Anything from beyond the black wall leaves only crisp corpses and destruction in its wake. Dangerous and unpredictable. Then again... I'm not privy to the wonders the Dark Wizards at Militech have at their disposal. Mm, dark indeed. You think it'd be worth... <laughs> think it'd be worth strolling up to Militech Tower and Corpo Plaza and knocking on the door, you know, asking if they could take a look? Think it'd be worth a shot? I'd say so, sure. You need all the options you can get. Okay. Looks like that hasn't dropped an objective or anything, so I don't know if we can even actually, uh follow that up. Were there any new conversation points here about Johnny and the chip? Got a few questions about Silverhand and his chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. No, it looks like we've already trod that path. Thanks, Vic. I'll catch you later. That's going to leave him asking questions. <laughs> <What's> it... <laughs> yeah, he's awfully confused. Why did, he just... Why did she start asking about the chip and then just clear off? Hey, Misty. Uh, I don't imagine there's anything... Uh new to discuss with you but always good to see a friendly face um if you'll uh maybe like look at me uh no not interested good <laughs> right now i need to be heading somewhere else uh, i need to be heading this way into this little market area oh the crime scene's finally disappeared. That's novel. Um, I need to head to, aha, Tom's Diner, because there's another little extra that was added recently that um, was all over Reddit not too long ago. Uh, talking about work? There's what actually the appearance of um, a very different little songbird around here somewhere. Let me see if I can... Uh, yeah, screw you, bozo. Oh, okay, that did not, that did not go quite as uh, I anticipate. <laughs> Whoa. Actually. Yeah, valid question. What is up with this neighborhood? But uh, yeah, up here on Tom's Diner is one of the new sightseeing. Here we go. Sightseeing telescopes that have uh, cropped up all over Night City uh, a little while ago. Now, I don't know if there's any relevance. Oh, that, that zoom in didn't go as I anticipated. I don't think there's any relevance to that number. 03122105B. Uh, but... I happen to know, if I take a little looky through these things, um, as <laughs> tempting as it is to just stand here and people watch all day, uh, if we look to the skies, we should see a little, uh, a rare little birdie. Ah, right about there. And if we stare long enough... <laughs> that's a very cool little Easter egg. Oh my god, I've, <laughs> I've seen this before on, on videos on, on Reddit, but it, it's... It's crystal clear, this image. That's very cool. I thought it was going to be a little bit of a blurred job. I want to see if I can spot Pavel Sasko, who's uh, one of the, the prominent faces in uh, CD Projekt Red. But uh, no, not there by the... Well, I'm sure he's probably in the crowd there somewhere. Yeah, if you haven't gathered, this is the, uh, the development team at CD Projekt Red. Nice little extra. Okay. Uh, right, let's make my way hmm let's make my way across the plaza here and see if i can uh ouch see if i can well first of all kill the scop sucker right who wants some ah you'll do <laughs> you're welcome Okay, I'm heading back to the apartment because there's something that I've tried like two or three times now and completely failed that I think I now know how to do. Wait, is that my... I thought someone had lifted my Merrimack then.
Home sweet home. It's been a little while. When did I change this color scheme? <laughs> I don't remember doing that. Uh, so yeah, a few times I have um, attempted to uh, actually interact with something in here and completely failed. Apparently, Songbird gave us a pin that we can put down somewhere in the apartment here, somewhere on this table. And I believe it's either here, which, it, oh, hold on. Was that just the radio? Yeah, that was just the radio. Either there or here. Play brain dance, okay. Uh, turn on TV. Okay. Uh, not getting the interaction mark. Hmm, interesting. Unless it's actually this table. And I'm pretty sure I've been shown photographic evidence that it's supposed to be this table and it's not working. Why is it still not working? Hmm, curious. Curious, I say, Johnny. Right, I give up. I've <laughs> no idea what's going on. Um, apparently the interaction is supposed to be like right next to this bowl and I'm supposed to be able to put the pin down um, and it's it's not happening. I think I've figured out what pin it is that I'm supposed to be able to put down. It's the um, the metal souvenir uh, from the loner city of Tycho that I'm supposed to put down. And I'm pretty certain that came with that little package of, uh, of moon dust that songbird left behind for us in dogtown or had sent to dogtown i should say but uh it ain't happening it don't, it don't work he's not he's not doing the thing so um hmm sag i guess i move on to the next one then uh yeah like i say it's a little bit of a shopping list of um of different uh interesting tidbits and this one is uh, sending us all the way out to the petrochem dam Gonna have to get all adventurous and outdoorsy for this one because apparently there is a little hidden extra right about here from what I've been uh, led to believe. So, cracking view for it. Look at that. Down here, apparently, is a thing. And I think that gentleman may be guarding said thing. In fact, who... Oh, hello. Hugo Selvig Bouncer. Who are you? Okay. Looks like a... A mildly mean individual by the looks of things. How the hell do I get down? <laughs> I'd like to... Whoa. What is that? That's an AV. That's a crashed AV. That's a crashed AV that crashed hella hard hella long ago. Can't believe I just said hella twice. Uh, uh, easy. Easy. Uh, let's hop down. Ah, oh. interesting. So, um, <laughs> what's your deal? Better get armed up just in case. Um, <laughs> I don't like this. I don't mind telling you, and I don't like this. I, I came off of there a little bit faster than I'd anticipated, but that's fine. Looks like I'm just about got away with it. Hello. Uh, what's that? What? <laughs> um, are you okay? What have you been? What have you been doing up here <laughs> with with please, those? Please, Hello, please. hi. What's the problem? Can I help you? Are you friendly? No, apparently not. No, right, hold on. Before we get into a little bit of a pickle, um, what have I actually got here? I've got a system collapse on me. If I need it. I think I'm going to. I don't necessarily want to um, destroy this fellow. I don't know what his deal is. Well, at least he can watch over his toys. <laughs> My God, they're all studded as well. Um, what was your deal? Uh, whoa, that's had. Hold on, that's had an entire engine pod blown off of it. And, and a trail of yet more um, uh, instruments of pleasure. Okay. So, this was what? Arcing round the dam? BFC 9000, what's that? No amount, oh God, no amount of pornos and skin beadies can prepare you for an encounter with the BFC 9000. Um, yeah, I'm beginning to piece together what this thing might be. Uh, BFC, maybe a... Big freaking um 
Anyway, uh, attacks at high stamina have a greatly increased crit chance, packs a few extra inches for improved range. <laughs> Strong attacks deal more damage, both physical and psychological. <laughs> no wonder this guy was calling out for help. What the hell's going on? Um, right, let's take that. We'll take your eddies. We'll take your BFC. You know I've got to take a look at this thing. <laughs> you know I've got to look into this. Right, um, perhaps we uh, replace our two-handed club with a, um, a two-handed club. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a one-handed club, apparently. I think that's definitely a two-hander. Oh, my God. <laughs> and it vibrates! And it's vibrating my controller. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's such like a lightsaber. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Can I? Oh. That would have been amazing if I could have thrown it as well. That's beautiful. Um, <laughs> explain yourself, please, Hugo. Uh, right, I had a conversation between Hugo Selvig and Gianna Nasako. Was this actually his? Oh, was it hers? Maybe. Anyway. Uh, hey, what's the deal? Clients waiting on their toy delivery. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening. Toys went up in smoke, or down in smoke, technically, and me with them. Uh, the AV went down near the dam. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking, but I need you to get me out of here ASAP before anyone shows up and tries to get grabby with the merchandise. Oh, he was protecting the toys. Tomorrow. Kind of busy right now, trying to find a new supplier last minute. Tomorrow? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I don't even have any iron to defend myself. Maybe not iron, but look around. You've got a whole AV full of options. Lay some wood on them. <laughs> Unless your sales pitch was a lie, they should be indestructible. <laughs> well... There's a whole city that can test that little theory. What the hell? <laughs> Next one is back up in Japan Town, or at least starts in Japan Town. Let me see. I need to make sure that I don't miss. Ah, here we go. Miss this uh, little opening. So, very recently, this highway was reopened after it was closed for the longest time. And, uh,. Yeah, this cuts all the way from the the big roundabout near Fourth Wall Studios in Japantown, all the way down past, uh, where is this, Vista Del Rey, I think? Yeah, Vista, and uh, ends up ends up around here somewhere, I think. Um, but yeah, covers a, a big old span of, uh, span of the city that was closed off for the longest time, and it's been reopened, which is great! Uh, because it stops all the nasty criminal scum from taking over and uh, causing a ruckus. Uh, that was random. Uh, however, apparently, there's still a chance that they might spawn here and cause a ruckus. So, um, I'm cruising down here on the off chance that I might get a little event spawn partway through. Oh. Ah, uh, I think I'm... I, I definitely think that I might have found it. What the hell? Trauma? Okay. The... Hold on, what? <laughs> the cheese vendor from Trauma Team, Carolina Vinthir. Why are you called the cheese vendor? Who are you actually up against? Who oh, Tiger Claws. Oh, interesting. Oh, and they are majorly outnumbered as well. Holy crap, are these all... Hold on, are these all claws? What have we got? Kunuchi. Tegan the Flamethrower from Trauma Team. And Lezik P. Okay, well, well let's uh, let's say we give um, Trauma a bit of a hand. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Oh, that's silly. I love that. It's um, not quite as effective as I'd like, but it's great for the comedy value. <laughs> Should probably be careful um, zooming through the- Whoa, no, I don't like that. <laughs> no, I don't like that, not at all. Okay, I think maybe one or two more of you, and then uh, I think the, um, what? The 9,000 needs to be put away. Oh God. Yeah, you're not having, uh, you're not impressed with me here, are you? Jesus. 
Right. Let's not set myself on fire. Oh, hello. There's more of you. Goody gumdrops. Ever so please. <laughs> Why is so stupid? Nope. I'd rather not. Ah! Oh god, somebody's yeah, somebody's down San Devastanning. Here we go. Right, I'm good now. Let's um actually grab a proper weapon. See if I can take care of these filthy tiger claws properly. Oh, but you can sneak up on me, did you? Ah! Oh god. Okay. I think I'm pushing my luck a little bit here. It's terribly sorry. Oh. Wow, thanks for uh, clearing my cover. Whoa. Oh, balls. <laughs> Maybe I was biting off a little bit more than I could chew. I really want to clear that area, though, because I want to see what the hell... There was a shard on the uh, on the hood of one of those cars, and I'm, I want to find out more about this trauma team and what the hell their names are all about. All right, no screwing around this time. Get a proper weapon out. And get stuck straight in. Hello. Hi there. Name V. I'm here to uh, wipe you off the map. Here is not too much trouble. Oh, you filth. Sit. S Wait, hold on. That's targeting the AV. I don't want to target the AV. No. Right, don't shoot me, trauma. Oh, he's spinning around to shoot me, isn't he? I'm on your side. I'm on your side. Oh, God. Trauma's right here. You. Wait, there's more trauma team. There's one more than last time. Uh, right, let's go to Contagion. And we'll go Overheat as well. See if we can't uh, spread a little, little bit of that love. Right, meanwhile... Oh, there's a, there's a few different shards here. Right. Take them from the other side, I reckon. <laughs> there's one of them stuck in the, uh, in the hood. Oh, hello. Will you stop? Okay, right, tell you what, I'll take, uh, just make sure there's no, none of trauma team around. Oh, there is. I was going to do a self-destruct on the van, but I'll leave it. Sit down. Whoa, you're nasty. You can sit right down, thank you. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to be quite that easy. Whoa. No. Sit. Sit. Oh, they finally got her out of there. Nice. You. Ooh. You're dangerous. You're moving rather fast. Uh, let's go for the contagion and overheat on you. You, on the other hand... Oh. That's not much use. We'll ping. Just in case there's more. Oh, you survived the contagion and over... Well, I am impressed. <gasps> Is that one of them? Are we good? Uh, paramedic officers? Can we actually speak? No. Uh, we can grab. I don't think I want to grab. Oh, man. That was a uh, trauma. So hold on. We've got... Oh, there's two AVs full of them. So what we got? Hello, cheese vendor. You're welcome. We've got loads of shards around as well, by the looks of it. Carolina Vinthia. We saw you before. Who else have we got? Tegan the flamethrower. Yep, got you. Lezek P. So these are the new ones. John Mello and Monique Ashka. Right, I'm trying to remember. Oh man, I read the um, I read a Cyberpunk 2077 graphic novel not too long ago, which uh, centered around Trauma Team and um, and their members and what they were getting up to. But uh, I don't really remember what. Um... Oh, did I park that there on top of you? I'm so sorry, madam. Not really. That was a lie. Oh, pull yourself together. Right. Let's see now. Where were these shards? I thought that there was a shard on top of the hood of this car. No, it's over there. Oh, it's on a dead trauma member. Who was this? Sweet Prince. Oh, sleep tight, Sweet Prince. So what have we got here? Transcript, Sweet Prince and TT Dispatch. Maybe this will uh, give a bit of a clue as to what the hell is going on here. Mayday, mayday, enemy contact. Oh, I wonder if he was a pilot. He's got a red helmet. I wonder if that denotes he's a pilot. Both AVs have been grounded. Current position under fire. Client evac impossible. Requesting backup. Request denied. Event uh, client policy level is gold. Evac resources for gold limited to two AVs. Over. 
<laughs> They're not only brutal and heartless over their own client base. If you don't pay the premium, you do not receive the life-saving service. But they also uh, quite happily screw over their own trauma team guys in the process. What AV is that? Never seen one of those before. Anyway, um, let's have a look around because I'm sure that there was another shard or two somewhere. I definitely spotted more. Right, there's one down yonder way by the looks of it. Was there? Ah, there's another one behind that truck as well. Cool. I think... I think that might be the final two. Oh, I wonder if... Could these have been... <gasps> these were the clients. Oh, no. Who are you? You are security guard. You are filthy tiger claw. Nobody gives a toss about you. Oh, is that the client? Is he still alive? Gregory Schultz. Now, huh, we may have a problem here. Now, remember how I helped to uh, save you guys, you know, against the tiger claws? Don't get antsy if I approach. I'm, I'm not looking f Oh, it looks like you had a refilled Caliburn as well. I'm not I'm not coming after your client. It's fine. I just want the shard. I had a conversation between Gregory Schultz and Classified. Three nights I haven't slept from all the stress. I wish this were all over, that you'd already gotten me there, and for them to extract these damn petabytes of data from my head. <gasps> oh, was Gregory Schultz a data mule? I understand, but there's no reason to worry. Logistically, the plan is bulletproof. Yeah, but I'm not. That's what's keeping me up at night. What if a netrunner decrypts the convoy route, sells to the highest bidder? Nothing like that will happen. Did you at least upgrade my trauma package from gold to platinum? Of course. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't, Mr. Schultz. Um... I'm not entirely sure that Mr. Schultz is still breathing. Um, sucks to be you, Mr. Schultz. Where was this last, uh, this last little morsel of information? Here we go. Here it is. Is this the Tigers? August to collect the package. So we've got the trauma side, the client side. Now let's see how the Tigers were tipped off. The package will be gift wrapped in Zeta Tech colors and guarded by corporate couriers. The Tigers will collect this package instead. Its head is fragile and extremely valuable, so please handle with care. If you experience trouble with collection, neutralize the couriers. <laughs> so they came here, I think wiped out the data mule, wiped out his guard as well, and then were about to remove his head for transport, and then, uh, then trauma swept in. I mean, looking at the number of tigers that were here, I'm guessing they must all have been here fairly... I thought that was a body in the back of this uh, Colby then. I guess they all must have been here like, at the same time. So they swarmed on this dude with this information. What the hell was he carrying? Wow. Well, um, you can probably, probably pretty much guarantee that the tigers weren't the least bit interested in... Uh... Oh, hello. Gut trauma team. Grab every blade you can and rush that Zeta Tech convoy. Schultz got hit with a ricochet and it pinged trauma. Two AVs for now, but there could be backup. Not one more hair falls from Schultz. <gasps> Wait. Not one more hair falls from Schultz's head. We need that data intact. So his head's got to be too. The older brothers need that head as much as we need to keep our own off the chopping block. Wait. Infighting? Were these... Were these two... Wait, I'm reading this right, aren't I? <laughs> that shard saying about picking up the package was found near this Tiger Claw's... Uh, what even is this? Um, Xion? No, Turbo R. Um, were two sects, two little splinter cells of, um, of Tiger Claws against each other on this one? Both going for the same pickup? Jeez. Right, uh, I don't... I don't think there are any more shards around here. We'll have a, we'll have a quick scan around, but I think that's probably it. But, um... Ooh, that is juicy indeed. Huh, right, okay. Um, on to the next little encounter. Woohoo! I would love it if they were as juicy as this one. Now, this next one's up in Northside, uh, just just north of Kabuki Market, and apparently needs a little bit of investigation and a little bit of scanner work from uh, from what I've been told by Samaji over on the Discord. So 
I quite like the sound of this one. Anything that involves a little bit of detective work is right up my alley. So, let's see. So the clue that I was given leads me... Interesting, there's a ladder there. Okay, I wonder if that's part of it. Yeah, it leads me down to this area here. have searched everywhere that I can think of and scanned everything I can think of and uh, turned up nothing. Unfortunately, uh... Right. Tiger's there. Interesting. I think I know what this little hold-up is. I think I've been here before. Oh, crap. I just took out the civilian. That's not good. Hello. Oh dear. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi. Are you still alive? Oh, you, you actually hit the deck. Oh, rubbish. I, I didn't actually mean to take her out. Never mind. Wait. Oh, you're a cop. Why are you attacking me? I was only taking out dirty gangers. Right, I think I was going to head over here to uh, these Maelstromers just to see if they had anything to do with anything at all. It doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, I'm at a bit of a loss on this one. Um, yeah, kind of, sort of, slightly not a clue. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail. Uh, I wonder if something perhaps refused to spawn that uh, should have appeared there, but hey-ho. Next one takes us back out to the Badlands, to the solar farm, and uh, I've switched things up a little bit. I've uh, jumped into what I personally think is probably the coolest looking sort of 80s-era sci-fi vehicle in the entire game, the Riptide, uh, the Herrera Riptide... Wait, what's it even called? <laughs> Herrera, Herrera Riptide something. Um, yeah, extraordinarily cool looking car. And I, just, I just love the way you actually get in and out of the thing. Now, apparently, there's something going down. Uh, is it this? Yeah, this way, I think. Back towards the actual core of the solar farm. If we head on in... Eh, here we go. Yeah, some sort of cordoned off area. And apparently, I need to get in and start poking my nose around a little bit for, um, for things to kick off. I mean, come on. Come on. So cool. Right. So what is actually going on here? So, hold on. Is that a TV van? That is a TV van, but it's not... No, it isn't a TV van. That's a Netrunner van. So this is what? Netwatch or NCPD? Netwatch. Okay. Mr. Dmitriev. Um, I kind of feeling we might have a bit of an altercation in a moment or two, but uh, we'll see how things go. And who's this? Uh, Netwatch. Wait, Netwatch have got muscle? Okay, I didn't realise they had uh, general hustle with them. But over here, you look like some sort of special agent. Yeah, Netwatch agent Nolan Harvey. But here, Gakut. Interesting. And I, if I'm not mistaken, that is a net running suit. So Gakut was out here what net running and got gunned down i guess by a security turret uh dead high caliber bullet wound in the back yeah looks like he was gunned down by that turret which would mean that the turret and i guess by extension this big well it looks like some sort of connected van was already here right interesting what can we tell about the van i can tell you one thing about that van I want to get in there and have a rummage around. <laughs> so, uh, I think we all know what needs to happen here, don't we, boys and girls? That's right. I'm going to make myself a new metal friend. Okay, uh, let's switch it to friendly mode. Let's throw in a... 
I'm really surprised that seeing as they're Netwatch agents, the uh, RAM cost for these isn't a little bit higher. But let's go Contagion and Overheat on you. Bit of a RAM boost. Right, who looks a bit tasty? Who looks a little bit dangerous? You're potentially a little bit dangerous, so um, you can see yourself out, my dear. Thank you kindly. As for the rest... Ooh, I see. Ooh, I think... Ah, oh, there we go. I was about to say, I think that's our um, contagion and overheat person. Well, yeah, but I hit harder. Right. And that's that mess taken care of. <laughs> I think that dude's the only one that actually uh, lived to tell the tale. Let's see. Uh, any any information on any of you chumps as to what the hell was going on here? I did notice there was some sort of yeah, some sort of circuit box or something over here that uh, has something of interest within it. Oh, okay. Just high tier components. That's fine. That's good. That's good. Focus fire will pick up from you. Tier three components. Hmm. Okay. Is there anybody else? There was. This was the special agent, wasn't it? You've got an Ajax. Cool. So let's take a look. So what's your name? Gurkha Gakut. So you're the net runner here. You. Oh my God. Look at that. Fragmented his back. Inbox. So what were you here for? Zero new messages. Um. Okay. That's random. Right. Let's check. Yeah, you're doing a good job. <laughs> I think you were exclusively told to uh, secure the perimeter, and I'm not on the perimeter, so everything's fine here. Uh, stupid robot. Okay, so what were you here for? Whoa, hello. <gasps> That's a new laptop. Our mission is to protect the net from Netrunners, AIs, and malicious programs, keeping it keeping it safe and protecting business interests. Join Netwatch today and make the net a safe place again. There are currently no positions available. Please check later. Wait. <laughs> what? Is this is this Gakut's laptop? Was he applying to Netwatch? I'm confused. Right. Is there anything else of interest around here? It doesn't seem to be. Well, let's get in the back of this van then. See if I can work out what the hell was going on. Was he... Right, again. Wait, is that Bryce? <gasps> What's his name? Bryce Stone, was it? Our net cops, wolves, weasels, and the Icemen are, are equipped with the most advanced and powerful software available to track and arrest those who break the law. Our agents move freely through the net, patrolling specific parts of the city, region, or continent. Right. Still doesn't explain what was going on. We've got a net running chair. Okay, interesting. Uh, again, I, I guess... Self-ice. Interesting. Automatic negates enemy quick hack. Oh, yeah, we've seen that before. Um, I'm guessing this is... Uh, oh, hello. Well, that looks awfully like a uh, QR code to me. I'm going to give that a scan in a minute and see what the hell's going on. Login. Uh, okay. Login Saburo Arasaka? <laughs> Why does someone from Netwatch, someone of some rank, it would seem, have a, a Saburo Arasaka login? Anyway, archive conversation between Sandra D. <gasps> no. Sandra Dorset? Was Sandra Dorset working together with that... Um, I can't remember what his name. Guacamole, the dead guy out there. I hacked the Corpo thi thing, uh, thing account. I'm Sandra. You're playing a very, very dangerous game with Night Corp. That print was not mine. But if you really are Sandra, yes, I am playing a dangerous game. I'm finding you. <gasps> what? Good luck with that. There's an army of Netrunners that you'd have to fight first. If I were you, I wouldn't trust Night Corp and get fried in whatever they do. Who, who told you I trust anyone? Me trusting a Corpo? You nuts? Good. Going to draw my own conclusions when I find you. I need to run before I have Netwatch on my ass again. <gasps> so Sandra is still out there fighting the fight against Militech. Ooh, exciting. Right, what's on this? Four messages. Report uh, 327-77, list of Sandra D's collaborators. Oh, from Netwatch HQ to the task force. Activities undertaken by the NW Mobile Operations Base in the Badlands has been met with partial success. So that's what this place is, the mobile operations base. So was that guy trying to sneak in to lift? He, the guy wants to find Sandra Dorset. Oh, it's making sense. The guy out there wanted to find Sandra Dorset. 
knew that Netwatch were what were tracking her, knew that this was their field base. So he tried to what hack in and and pick up what they'd already learned. Interesting. An encrypted connection has been established with a group of netrunners suspected of collaborating with the wanted netrunner Sandra D. The connection was subsequently severed, most likely by the aforementioned Sandra D, which prevented obtaining a complete data archive of the identities and coordinates of the netrunner group. Recommended course of action, analyzing the acquired data to narrow the search area. Apprehend the following members of the netrunner group. Widen in or Eden in Coast View, Rabbit in Kabuki, uh, Judgmental Monk in Luxor Heights, Dogtown, Nana in Arroyo, Jilly McJiggers, more McJillers, Charter Hill. Um, hmm, Jilly McJillers, okay. Artemis R, Downtown, Starling, Longshore Stacks, Petrichor, Japantown, Ryan, Rancho Coronado, Mustaf, Dwarf, D Distacruel, Hummingbird, Doc Hawk, Aqualock, Two Face, Dusty Hyde, Piotrulo, Kate Hyde, Erratica. I wondered if I'd. Um... Oh, interesting. One of them's in the EBM Petricum Stadium in Dogtown. I'm wondering if I recognize any of the names. Okay, update of report. The body of a covert agent codenamed Gakut has been found. Badlands, bullet wound to the spine. Perpetrator unknown. Possibly a member of the Wanted Netrunner group collaborating with Sandra D. So he. This mobile base was set up after they'd found his body. So he was just out here in the middle of the Badlands with, a, with bullets in his back? Recommended course of action. Establish a mobile op post to monitor net activity in the area. Interesting. It was a high caliber bullet. So was he taken out by a sniper? Intelligence. Residual traces recovered and secured from the net points to the possible collaboration of NUS intelligence with Sandra D who was accused of hacking a database containing clearances to Netwatch archives. So they think that Sandra Dorsett is working with the NUSA? Point to the possible collaboration of NUS intelligence with Sandra D. Whoa. Um, recommended course of action, continue investigation to confirm NUSA intelligence's collaboration with an illegal operation targeting the independence and integrity of Netwatch. No way. Well, we know the NUSA's interest in the Black Wall and finding what's on the other side of it and seeing what assets they can plunder. Maybe Sandra was involved in that somehow? Maybe Sandra and Songbird worked together at some point. Sandra D. In continued attempts to track down the Netrunner, Sandra D. has been unsuccessful. The wanted Netrunner is most likely using black market software or jailbroken software to cover up traces of her activity throughout the net. Recommended course of action? Continue search. Shit. No way. Sandra, what have you got yourself into? It sounds like she's heading up a group of runners now. Very cool. Clue four. What time is it? There is a clock in the archives, a normal clock with numerals one to 12 around the clock face. Someone has taken to sticking words or numbers over these numerals and moving the hands to show the time indicated by these. What time is shown on the clock? Sorry, what? A normal clock with numerals. Uh, someone has st taken to sticking words or numbers over these numerals and moving the hands to show the time indicated by these. I'm sure that's actually a legitimate riddle there, but I'm, my, I'm, I'm not in uh, not in the correct mental state to uh, pick it. Why have you? Hold on. Why have you got comic books? <laughs> Are you that bored? Netwatch. I suppose it's not particularly thrilling. Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to give a quick scan of this here QR code and see if it actually leads to anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's rather funky. So, I uh, if I follow the QR code, took me to a page that wanted me to lo enter a logging username and password. There was something already filled out, and it came back as being invalid. But then I remember that there's that little post-it note in front of the laptop with the Saburara Saka login. Enter that. And it's taken me through to some sort of Netwatch page. This is on my phone. Netwatch page with uh, several different archives. There's a main archive that gives a little bit of information on Netwatch itself, kind of what was on the, uh, the laptop screens that we saw previously. A recruitment page that mirrors what's on the laptop inside the back of the van. And there are currently no positions available. Please check again later. But then reports. 
we have information and stuff. Um, okay. So, there's, there's lots... Wait, hold on. There's lots of stuff. The information which may prove useful to fighting cybercrime should be reported directly to the nearest Netwatch unit. What the hell? But there's also archives with... Ver what? Hold on, what the hell is this? Is this an air... It's some sort of... But then there's archives that show these pictures that kind of lead to some sort of ARG? This must be some sort of alternate reality game. I, I'm so confused. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So several of these are, are verified and not verified. I'm guessing this is some sort of mystery that's like in progress in the, uh, the cyberpunk community. I have no idea what any of it means, but I mean, that's seriously cool. Hats off to your CDPR. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but hell, it's cool. Time for a bit of uh, time by the beachside. This one's in Pacifica, just behind the Grand Imperial Mall. Uh, you'll probably recognize the spot. It's the, uh, the location of the Mega Ride, where we took a nice little spin around the track with one Mr. Silverhand. But apparently... There's something new. Oh. Oh, I was kind of expecting someone in there. Where's a little kitty cat? Hello, little kitty cat. Who are you? Do you have a name or are you just cat? I think you might just be cat. Hello. Oh, we can leave food. Oh, it's like the first time we tempted nibbles out of the shadows. Oh. Wait, what is that? Like, like a... Uh... Did you do that? <laughs> it was... That's interesting. Did you just pop that safe? That's a really cool little trick. Have we left a bit of Sin Sirline for him or something? That's um, <laughs> quite rich for a cat. I can take care of that for you if you want. Oh, nice kitty. Uh, what have we got? Actual cat food. Lilu beans and some other stuff. And uh, nice. 3,000 eddies. Oh, that's very cool. Okay. Nice little uh, little extra bonus. Well, see you later, little guy. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the ads. That's slightly bizarre. Well, I think that that should just about do it for this time. I've got one or two other little mysteries uh, that I want to take care of next time. And um, perhaps maybe one that's not quite so little. But uh, until next time, I'm just going to take care of the, uh, the, the local wild animals here. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, then pop those in the usual spot. Uh, excuse me, madam. Rude. Take some of my stiff little friend. Okay. Maybe that's enough stiffness. Maybe, uh, maybe a proper weapon might actually uh, do us some good. But anyway, for now... I think that'll do. If you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment, pop those in the usual spot. And uh, I'll be back very soon with uh, another little follow-up to this video. Along with tracking down one of the longest standing mysteries of this game and finally seeing where it actually leads. But until next time, take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Um... <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs>